Welcome back to Julian's Magician School and here's another easy to do card force and I don't know the name of this card force because <laughs> it was sent in to me and I had never seen it before it's a variation on the slip cut force but it's quite unusual but it's actually really easy to do which is why I'm showing it to you now it was sent in to me by Super Caleb XY Super Caleb XY Kablexy? <laughs> I don't know how you say that. So we've got 52 cards in the deck here. What we're going to do is we're going to ripple up through or flick through the cards. When you say stop, you can take the card down there. Okay, here we go. So go through, stop there, and you take that card there, and that will be your card. It'll always be the card you want them to take. Come in, and I'll show you how this one's done. Here's the workings. The Force card goes on top of the deck. Now, of course, it doesn't have to be this card. Whatever card you want, you just make sure you put that on top of the deck. Then you're going to put pressure with one, two, three, four fingers, which are lined up against the top edge of the card. A little bit of pressure in. The fleshy pad of the hand here puts a little bit of pressure. So, in fact, it's just sort of squeezing in just ever so slightly. But if you do that, you'll find it very easy to slide that card back and forth like that. And sliding it back into that position is the secret to how the trick works. So as you're talking to them, you secretly slide that card back. I did it in the performance. Uh, people don't see you do it. It's just a very quick move. If you're worried, what you can do is you can use this little ruse. You can go, oh, is that dirty? And on the second time you do it, you just pull it back a little bit and you go, oh no, I thought there was a bit of dirt on there. So when the cards are in that position, you then flick through the front of the cards. When they say stop, you then pull out that block there, which leaves the top card, that's our force card, in that position. Now, of course, you can't do that, so you have to get that card to there. And all you do is put your index finger back in the front to form a block, and as you tip your hand forward, you're going to open these fingers and loosen that grip there, and all it does is let that card fall down on top. Don't worry that it's not squared up, it's just as though you've moved it forward and the cards have moved a bit, and they take that card, and that is the card that you want them to take. So if anyone knows the name of this, post a message or get in contact and I'll put it on the website and I'll put an annotation on the video here. Alright, remember if I can do it, you can do it.